Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Buick Envision, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver. So probably my favorite thing about this hitch is the way it looks. Appearance is important on a really nice car, so you don't want your hitch to take away from that. Well this one, the only thing you're going to be able to see is the receiver tube opening. You're not gonna be able to see the rest of the hitch as it's kind of hidden behind the bumper. And so it's just gonna give us that clean factory look. So many of our Envision customers plan on using their hitch to carry around a bike rack. And if that's your plan, this one's going to work great for you, partly because it has that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. So it's going to give you a lot of different options on what type of rack or accessory you can carry. But something I do want to point out, the hitch does sit back a little bit, and that's partly to make the appearance look better. But with it sitting back a little bit, something you need to pay attention to is your clearance. So from your hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper. And what you're looking for is the distance there. You wanna make sure any folding accessories can clear. So that's just something to keep in mind if you plan on using those folding style accessories. So this is a class three hitch. So we're gonna have a nice looking reinforced collar. That's also gonna add some strength. And it's going to have the standard 5.8 size pin hole. Now, a pen and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. We're going to have loop style safety chain openings, which are quite large and in the open. So if you do plan on doing some towing, you shouldn't have any issues using just about any size hook. Now, as far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's going to have a 525 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. So that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. That's a pretty high number and that'll work good for just about any accessory, bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd want to use. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to be 3,500 pounds. So that's going to be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now I do always like to recommend, it's never a bad idea to check with your Buick's owner's manual to make sure your Envision can pull that much weight. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements. And you're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 13 inches. So chances are pretty good you're going to need to get a ball mount with a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, it's going to be about six and a half inches. And you're going to use that measurement to figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. So overall, a versatile hitch that looks really good too. And believe it or not, even though most of our hitch is completely hidden, the installation really isn't that bad and shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our install, we're gonna be working underneath the back of our Envision. And what we're gonna have to do is take out a couple of screws. That way, the bottom of our bumper will have a little movement and give us some room to work. So we're gonna have a screw here and we're gonna pull that out with a T15. If you file that down, we're gonna have one more on this side too. We'll do the same thing. Now over here on the passenger side, I feel like just behind her bumper, where this flange is, we're gonna have a 15 millimeter nut that we'll go ahead and remove. And once we have this removed, anything we do to this side of the vehicle, we're also going to do to the other side because they're gonna be set up the exact same way. So now what we can do is move to our frame rail and fish wire our hardware into place. So to do that, we're gonna take the coiled end of one of our pole wires and put it through this hole here, closest to the back of our car. We're going to drop it out of that larger hole. Sometimes it's easier if you put a nice bend in the wire like that. Once we have that pulled out, we're going to take a spacer block, put it over the fish wire and the carriage bolt. That's actually going to thread on to the fish wire. And we can push our hardware up into the frame rail. 
work it around and get it to drop down like that. Now with the next set of hands, we can raise our hitch into position. So you're gonna to wanna to take the pull wire and put it through this hole here in the back of the hitch. We can raise it up. And what we're gonna to have to do is push our hitch up. We're gonna to have to go over these bumper supports here. Kind of work them out. Kind of while pushing our bumper back at the same time. So once you have the hitch over that stud that we removed the nut from and our hardware drop through, you can take off your pull wire. And what you're gonna do is take a flange nut right here and get this started hand tight. And for this bolt there, we're gonna grab the factory nut that we removed and get that started as well. With all of our hardware in place and hand tight, now we can snug it all down. Now we'll go ahead, grab our torque wrench, and tighten everything down to the amount specified in the instructions. And don't forget to reinstall your Torx bit screws here on the bottom of our bumper. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Buick Envision.